winding down a flight of stairs at the Royal Library in Copenhagen. A large black cloth hangs over double doors that open automatically as you approach. Dim red lights washed on about two dozen wooden and functional swings that fill the art exhibit. Everything you can pick up is true. Along the walls, light filters through little portholes of different sizes. Looking in, you can see a sketchbook by Hans Christian Andersen with an 1831 entry depicting a rough sketch of a house and a castle. One that stands out is a detailed painting, 1618, of a party by Isaac Isaacs. Another sketchbook, 1799, by Nicholas Albedgard, reveals a colored drawing of an angel. The detail of the blonde hair falling over her face and hands reveal pain filling the drab space. Airy music encompasses the environment, helping to take you out of the quaint sidewalks of Copenhagen and immerse you in an otherworldly space that evokes Alice in Wonderland. Yet, Welton isn't giving us a museum display. His style, even when utilizing someone else's art, evokes the dream vision of a man playing with the surreal. Not only is he displaying sketchbooks by historical artists, he has created several diorama displays of odd objects and little surprises. In one, a small white baby shoe stands in contrast against blue light. You hear a girl's voice speak. Okay. Okay. He utilizes architecture and design as an artist's word, taking you into his world, which invites you to view art not on the artist's terms, but on his own terms. And if you think the portholes are part of a ship when you look through one and see Allison's white rabbit, then that's a hint you've entered a burrow of rabbit holes, some with Wilson's weirdly envisioned art and some displaying the sketchbooks. The exhibit runs through April 4, 2009 at the Royal Library in Copenhagen, Denmark.